Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Amy, back with another video. I put up a poll on the community tab asking if you guys wanted a video on how to get past a certain plateau in your hair growth journey and a lot of you responded. Thank you so much for the engagement and a lot of you said you did want a video on that. So I had one up for shoulder length, bra strap length, and waist length. We might have to wait on waist length because I just kind of got to waist length. I still don't even want to proclaim that I'm at waist length just because I'm super hard on myself. I want to be like comfortably at waist length where I'm like at my hips to say like, yeah, I'm at waist length. But anyway, we're going to make videos on how to get your hair past shoulder length and bra strap length. I think maybe I'll make it into a series. Today's video, I'm going to explain to you guys how to grow long natural hair fast getting past shoulder length. I also do wanna do a natural hair journey, but just knowing me, I'm probably not gonna put out a natural hair journey start to finish until I get to my desired length. And my desired length is like at my butt. It might even be mid thigh at this point because I keep changing the goalposts, so who knows. It's coming, but we don't know when it's coming. But don't worry, like Jesus, it'll come be on the lookout and be ready because it's coming <laughs> it's coming soon <laughs> i went natural the summer of 2014 when i was 16 years old so almost a decade ago let's not do the math um that's when the big chop was trending i didn't want to do the big chop so i transitioned so this is a picture of me transitioning this was a braid out I did. I remember for my sophomore year, cause I was going to the Justin Bieber concert. Does anybody else only really remember things based off of like events in their life? Yeah, I was going to a Justin Bieber concert sophomore year. And I just remember I just got my hair cut. So it was at my neck, cause it was in a bob. That's a picture right before I cut off the rest of my dead end. I transitioned my hair for the summer of junior year, going into senior year. And then by the time senior year came around, that's when I got the big chop. I remember now because I went into senior year with natural hair and it was really short. Okay, this was a picture of my hair big chopped. So my hair was really, really, really short and curly and natural and I loved every part of it. This leads me into my first point. Really after I big chopped, I just let my hair be. I wore it in a wash and go 80% of the time. In my opinion, it was too short to do other hairstyles that I really wanted to do to have them look the way I wanted them to look. I couldn't put it in a ponytail yet. So I just wore a wash and go because that's kind of like all I could do really. But that was actually a good thing because I couldn't always manipulate it. So it was barely growing out at a decent rate. And then the other 20% of the time, I did try different styles as it grew a little bit longer. I tried out twist outs and braid outs. I just kind of wanted to do stuff with my hair just for the sake and seeing what I liked, seeing what I didn't like. But I really just prioritized keeping my hair moisturized. And I think it was moisture because also at the time I was a product junkie. So I had every product under the sun you could think of. Products are primarily for moisture anyway. So it wasn't bad that I was a product junkie because my hair was always moisturized but at the same time I was just like I didn't need all of those products I really could have stuck to like one or two or three and just reuse those I also had a hair care routine and I think at the time my wash day routine consisted of washing my hair once per week and that's really all I did my hair just kind of did its thing and grew so I guess it's really about retaining length what did I do to retain my length probably just leaving it in between those two styles like a wash and go or a twist out and that's it i didn't dye my hair i've actually never in my life dyed my hair i would want to i would love to i didn't cut my hair after that because i just got a cut so i wasn't like oh i'm gonna keep cutting it i didn't give myself a lot of trims at that time i started trimming a lot during bra strap length every now and again i would do braids but i didn't do braids like i do braids and twists now for the reason of protective styling long term to see hair growth i just did it just to switch up my style and to have it in a wash and go or a twist out so that i could change up my look i wasn't just constantly doing things to my hair and i think that's how i got past shoulder length when i first initially cut my hair here are a few mistakes that i made that kept me at shoulder length longer than necessary even though i did keep my hair primarily in a wash and go or a twist out I was still doing my hair every couple of days. Let's say I did my wash and go Sunday night, right? So I could wear it like for the school week. Okay, by the time Tuesday came around, I'm re-wetting my hair and putting conditioner in it again and running my fingers through it and putting a comb through it. So I'll do that again on Thursday and then I'll do it again like on Saturday. So that's still like me being in my hair. Instead of just wearing it all week, even though I was between those two styles, I was redoing those two styles often. And I feel like had I made the style stretch from when I initially did it at the beginning of the week, I think I would have gotten past shoulder length a little faster just cause I'm not like always touching my hair. 
Oh, I was definitely combing my hair too often in order to detangle it in the beginning when I was shorter length. Oddly enough, this was actually my shortest plateau of my entire hair journey thus far. I think I was at shorter length from senior year of high school to freshman year of college. I would suggest that you pick a style that you know is easiest for you to do or have it in a consistent state that I don't need to always touch it. So in conclusion, growing your hair past shoulder length, pick a style that you know is easiest to replicate, build a hair care routine that works for you, whether that be washing your hair once a week, once every two weeks, or once a month, not using a comb, not repeating that style that you chose often figure it out make that style last the entire week without you having to redo it entirely and that's mostly it four four things that's mostly it those four if you could do those you'll be past shoulder length in no time i hope that made sense to you guys let me know in the comments down below if you want how to get past bra strap length i don't want it to be kind of redundant but that is the point of every single one of my hair growth videos it is based around the main point of length retention that's how you're gonna see the growth subscribe to the channel if you already have not like the video and share it with a friend push the bell notification to be notified every time i upload a new video thanks guys so much for the support and i'll see you in my next video bye